And then another Splontex, I love these, I have them everywhere and I, I never throw them away, I just reuse <laughs> They sort of get passed down from, they start in the kitchen and they end up in the shoe cleaning department. Hi, I'm Charlie from Ask Charlie and a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. So last week when I filmed cleaning my bathroom, I showed you inside my cleaning caddy that I keep upstairs. So this week I thought I would just show you what I have in my cleaning caddy, which I keep downstairs. So here she is. Um, it's an old wooden one. I've had it for years. I can't remember where I got it from, but actually I'm strangely attached to it. I quite like it. <laughs> um, so my cleaning cloths, I just dropped one. So I love old yellow dusters because they don't, the new ones have, when you clean, they tend to leave a bit of fluff. So I use these for polishing furniture and I think the old ones are the best. So this is a Spontex, um, I, think, I think they call them like fiber cloths, which is really handy just for buffing up things. I'll show you in a minute. And then another Spontex, I love these, I have them everywhere. and. I, I never throw them away, I just reuse. <laughs> they sort of get passed down from, they start in the kitchen and they end up in the shoe cleaning department. Um, this is a John Lewis microfiber cloth, which is really handy for polishing things. And then this is a thin one. So I normally have blue cloths for cleaning loos, which I showed you last week, but this is a really thin one. So I know not to get it mixed up and actually it buffs up things really well as well. So I have that in there. So let me show you, um, we'll start with this. So this is a method glass cleaner. Um, I use this on all mirrors, windows, and I also use it on my splashback um, behind my auger, which <laughs> often needs a jolly good clean. You don't need much of the product, just a little spritz goes a really long way and it smells gorgeous. And then I've got another method, antibacterial. So this kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So I use this for kitchen work surfaces, kitchen tables, um, anywhere that needs um, a good antibac. Um, this is brilliant. I also have a toothbrush for um, those, you know, difficult little bits to, to reach and that need a good scrub. Um, I then, we've got wooden floors downstairs and this, a friend told me about it, it's absolutely brilliant. So it's a method wooden floor cleaner and you just squirt and mop. You don't need to have a, a bucket of water, you just squirt it on. It's amazing stuff. And I think with wooden floors, you don't want to put too much water on them. So this is um, brilliant for that. I then have this wood silk um, furniture polish. I don't like aerosols. This is, I think is the only aerosol I have um, for, you know, in my cleaning, cleaning range. Um, but it is really good for antique furniture. <laughs> We've got a lot of antiques in this house, so that's really useful for that. But this is also really good. This is my second bottle. It's Goddard's and I, um, I love their products. They do really good silver cleaners, but this is brilliant for looking after antique furniture. You just put a little bit onto, um, onto a duster or a cloth and you work it in and you leave it for a few minutes and then you go back and buff it up. So if you're giving your furniture a really good polish, which I don't do um, every week, I, I sort of rotate and this is really great for that. Um, then some Zaflora. I love Sephora. Um, this is Hello Spring. It smells really good. And you can either use it neat, you can dilute it. And I um, love, love a spritz bottle. So um, you can add Sephora in with water and you can use that. Um, rather than using something like this, you could, you could use that and dilute your own. Right, let's move these cloths over there. So I did show you this last week for my bathroom in between the towel rails, but it's also really handy if you don't have time for a proper polish, you know, just um, wiping over. And these are removable, you can wash them, which is really handy. I don't like using wipes and throwaway equivalents of these because they're just not good for the environment. I then got it in, um, so it comes actually as a set and this is extendable, which is really, really handy. So that is great. I also use it, um, I won't show you now, but down the walls and just any cobwebs, any dust on the walls, it's really good for wiping off. 
and then this. So I got this, um, it's ostrich feather actually, I got it from the range which has a wonderful selection of cleaning products and it's really um, extendable sort of massively which is really handy if you've got high ceilings or live in a barn or something like that. So that is brilliant. Then I have got brass and copper cleaning cloth. Um, we've got quite a lot of brass in the house, our light switches, our um, door handles and things like that, doorknobs, so this cloth is really good for giving those a buff up and this one is really battered and I need to replace it. Um, let me show you, they're actually they're the same range, they're the same make, um, but really handy if you don't want to properly clean all of your silver just to, um, to use this and actually they work a treat. So you just wipe over. You don't even really need to buff up with another cloth, but you can do. And yeah, these work an absolute treat. So I can highly, highly recommend those. So I also use the floor for cleaning our bathroom floors and our laundry room floor. And you can either mix it with um, water in a mop bucket and use a mop, or I tend to actually put on my rubber gloves. So these are the Lakeland um, Deluxe Moisturising ones and I absolutely love them. I use them in the kitchen and when they've got a little bit off for the kitchen, they get passed down to the laundry room and then to my cleaning caddy. So I keep a pair of those in there and use this for, um, use them particularly for cleaning the floor by hand. Because they're not massive areas, I do find that actually if I um, use, so I would use one of these cloths and you can really get into all the corners and give it a really good clean and wipe the skirtings at the same time. So Sephora is brilliant for that. Also, if the children have been unwell, um, you know, sick or something like that, it's really good um, for disinfecting that as well. So I hope that that has been a helpful insight into my cleaning caddy, which I keep downstairs of my favorite cleaning products. As ever, thank you for watching and please do remember to hit the subscribe button, to ring the bell to be notified of new videos, to comment, to like, ask me any questions, I'm happy to try and help if I can.